All right, let's time travel back to 2009. The web, doing presentations on stories of openness. And this kind of uh, interface, flash base, seemed a reasonable thing to do to be able to present collections of different stories uh, in a nonlinear format. So welcome to the world of Cool Iris. And um, you have kind of like this giant virtual wall of uh, things to present. Some are graphics, uh, some are video. And in presentation mode, uh, I could pick and choose where to go, but probably start in the beginning and can uh, use my arrow keys to be able to page through things. Um, so talk a little bit about Dana Atchley and I'm pressing the arrow keys and getting to the first sections of stories that I uh, possibly want to uh, include. Um, these are arranged in different topics. So I could just walk through and do things in regular order. When I get to a video, oh, who's that guy? Well, I got another amazing story. And, and every time I, I try to tell this, it just amazes me still. This is the story of the unknown flower. So in presentation mode, uh, I might not want to just get up on stage and present uh, videos. So I might play a couple minutes, the intro, and then do a little bit of talking over. Uh, you can see I muted the video and uh, went back to it. So um, Cool Iris was this pretty cool uh, interface. Uh, you can see at top left, there's actually a uh, page. I could launch actual, um, this case I'm connecting uh, to a blog post. Uh, so you can connect each pieces of uh, media that I showed uh, to something external, uh, but it was really this kind of um, interface where I could more or less go in any order that I wanted to. If I decided I really wanted to pull up Barbara Ganley or Nancy White's or Darren Karapatwa's a video, I could do that. Um, so this was um, this was a great thing at the time, and I kind of uh, wish I had something like this. This actually still works on the web. Um, it does require flash, which is a problem. It's a big problem, uh, but with a little uh, kind of technical fix about two years ago, I was at least able to restore it to the flash version that people can view um, on a computer. And in addition to that interface, I have kind of a web summary of um, every uh, story that's in that, that deck, if you will, um, all these videos organized. So. But for me, I really, um, I really dug this cool Iris interface. Uh, there was something about it that just was different, um, and I just would like spend a lot of time flying back and forth and just uh, give a sense of this uh, kind of beautiful um, wall of uh, potential jukebox media videos that I could uh, pick and choose to talk about in front of a live audience. So. Those were the days of Cool Iris, um, for what it's worth.